Hello guys, Bagaga here and today I'm gonna share a crazy theory with you about a potential upcoming structure deck. And along the way we will also randomly find out why Konami made Subterras so bad on purpose. But evidence that I'm gonna show you in fact is so strong that I'm just gonna say it right now. We will get a Things Earth structure deck by the end of this year in the TCG. So why do I think that? Well, first of all, we need to understand that Konami isn't just releasing structure decks anymore. Since the start of 2016, they are remastering older structure decks instead. It all started with the Emperor of Darkness structure deck, which is a remake of the structure deck the Dark Emperor released back in 2008. Afterwards, we got a remake of the old Falcon structure deck, and soon in April, we will get two structure decks at the same time. The Machine Reactor and the Dino Smasher's Fury structure deck. Let's look even further into the future. After those two, we could get a Wind and Earth structure deck based on the two old decks, Lord of the Storm and Invincible Fortress. Today we will take a look at a possible remake of the Invincible Fortress structure deck. But what could we possibly know about a remake of such a structure deck? Well, there are actually a few things that all the remakes share. First point, the cover monster of the old structure deck is always in the remastered version. Second, they all, for some reason, include a token. Third point, the new cover monster is a stronger version of the old one, but with at least one effect that is very similar to the old cover monster. The only exception to this rule is the new cover monster from the Dino Smasher's Fury structure deck, Ultimate Conductor Turano. He is more a combination of Conductor Turano and Ultimate Turano, and also shares one of his effects with Ultimate Turano. Fourth point, the deck's main playstyle doesn't change. For example, Caius is a tribute monster, therefore the Emperor of Darkness structure deck is completely focused on tribute summoning. Both Falkrand structure decks are focused on special summoning from the grave. The Ancient Gear structure deck is focused on attacking without giving your opponent time to activate card effects. And the Dinosaur structure deck tries to summon huge beat sticks and also tries to include normal monsters. The fifth one is that they try to include older cards that were exclusive to the old structure deck also in the new structure deck. And the sixth and last point, there are always six new cards in the new structure deck and some of these six new cards are based on outdated older exclusive cards from an older structure deck. So what does this mean for a possible remastered version of Invincible Fortress? Well, let's go to the list again. The cover mods of the old deck will also be in a new one. So we're gonna see Exot Master of the Guard in the structure deck. But if you take a look at Exot's effect, you see that you need to triple a Things monster to summon him. There are only three ways how Konami could include him in the deck. But they could also choose multiple of the following answers. Obviously they include cards like Guardian Things or other cards with Things in their name in the structure deck. That was pretty obvious. They introduce a new card that allows you to special summon him, ignoring his summoning conditions. And third, the release of a new card that special summons things tokens. So you can see, the third point is very likely because all the other structure decks had tokens. In my opinion, it would also make sense if the first point we just talked about would also be true, so they include things monsters in the structure deck. So let's go on. We have to talk about point 3, the new Exode. So what kind of effect would fit the original playstyle of the deck? To figure this one out we could for example read the old structure deck description. Create an unbreakable defense with the mighty earth monsters in Invincible Fortress structure deck. These monsters can be summoned to unleash their powerful effects and then return them to defense position to protect your life points with their incredible defense points. Okay that's a pretty outdated strategy let's be honest. but. What we can see from this is that Exot's effect will reflect the playstyle of the upcoming structure deck. The old Exot had the effect whenever an earth monster is flipped face up, you can inflict 1000 damage to your opponent. So with this information we can draw a clear picture about upcoming Exot. He will have an effect that triggers whenever a monster is flipped face up, for example a removal effect. Second, he will be able to protect your face down defense position monsters with a passive card effect. 
When it comes to the summoning condition, I would guess that it will be very similar to the old Exhort as well. So attributing one or more Sphinx monsters or banishing Sphinx monsters from your hand, field or grave would also be an option. And then we can already talk about the last two points on our list, reprints and stronger versions of old exclusive cards. Those three exclusive cards are Exode himself, Great Spirit and the Field Spell Canyon. Fun fact that I discovered while doing my research for this video, the last two never got a reprint. But if you look at their effect, you know why. They suck. Great Spirit, another fun fact, it's not even a spirit monster, changes the attack and defense of one earth monster till the end of the turn. Look at him, completely OP in 2017, especially after Link Mechanic comes out. I wish you could say something better about our next card, Canyon, but um, not really. If a rock type monster in defense position is attacked, double any battle damage to the controller of the attacking monster. Hands down, best card in 2017 confirmed, no debate. But okay, let's get serious again. So these cards suck, but there is a possibility that we will get better versions of them. What other new cards could we get? We already talked about the new Exode, and I also mentioned a card that special summons Sphinx tokens. That card could be a remake of Canyon. Okay, here's my prediction for the 4 remaining slots. Most remade structure decks got 4 monsters, 1 spell and 1 trap. 3 monsters and a trap left. Two of the new monsters are normally big boss monsters. The other two smaller monsters. So it makes sense to have a new better Exode and a powerful Sphinx monster as the aces of the deck. A remake of Guardian Sphinx, Hiraku Sphinx or Creo Sphinx would make in my opinion the most sense. Also a new version of Great Spirit that doesn't suck. The last monster could be something completely new, maybe a smaller Sphinx, but I don't want to speculate too much about that card. Only one thing, these cards need to be much much stronger than their older counterparts because this deck came out in 2006 and even in 2006 it was bad. So man, if you are bad in 2006, how bad do you have to be in 2017? Let's talk about the possible trap card. A ghost trick go around or a sinister shadow game for earth monsters would be crazy good. Not only for the structure deck but also for me as a sub terror player. Really, I need such a card. I swear Konami just made sub terrors that bad because they were planning link summoning and they already planned the structure deck, so... But anyway, let's get to the last point. Possible reprints. And there are a lot. While doing my research and listing cards that could be potential reprints for this video, I had over 60 picks. And listing all of them is, would take way too long, so I'm just gonna show you the best possible cards that would make sense. So there is a possibility that we get multiple Triumid cards in the structure deck because, you know, Triumid things is, well, <laughs> a thing. I'm so smart, yes I know. Also you need additional Triumid monsters to summon Triumid things, so that's just an option that there could be in there. Also quirky Mere monsters have a chance for getting a reprint in the structure deck because, well, they are rock and earth monsters and they fit perfectly into the deck with their effects. And here is an additional list about some good generic rock type monsters. Or for example earth flip monsters that could also be in the structure deck. Block dragon, part of the forbidden, mega rock dragon, fossil diner, golem sentry, doki doki, sentry soldier of stone and desla coda. When it comes to spell cards, attack the moon, book of eclipse, book of moon, the shallow grave, sword of concealing light, magnet reverse and catapult zone would make, in my opinion, the most sense. But we could also get some really generic and good reprints, for example, Port of Desires. I'm not saying it's gonna happen, but there is a possibility that we will actually get a reprint of Port of Desires in the set. The possible trap lineup is also interesting. Burst Rebirth, Floodgate Trap Hole, Magnet Force, Premature Return, Quaking Mirror Force, and Release from Stone. Also, but this is not confirmed, it would be possible to have Solon Strike in the structure deck, but hey, that's just a speculation. And with that we talked about everything. Sorry that it took me so long to upload another video, 4 days is a long time, but you have to understand how much work this video actually was. 
So if you enjoyed it, please leave a like or sub to my channel. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice weekend. Till next time. Bye.